recently bought this old Yamaha BB bass, and I really like it, but I've been having some anxiety. I'm going back and forth on if I want to add an onboard preamp. The reason why I would want to add a preamp is this bass kind of just has one sound, and I'd love to have the output boosting capabilities and the tonal flexibility that a preamp gives you. The concern I'm having is I don't really want to modify the bass. I don't want to add knobs, I don't want to add batteries, and I also don't really want to change the sound of the bass. The first time I plugged this bass in, I was just enamored by its tone. It's simple, it's old, it's got some mojo. And my fear is if I take the guts out and put something new in, it might change. At Aguilar, a big part of our inspiration comes from the recording studio. And an EQ that's really common in the recording studio is broadband EQ. Broadband boost is an organic and intuitive style of frequency boosting that adds body and weight to your tone without unbalancing or altering the character of your instrument. It brings out what is already inherently there in your bass. Here I have my DB925 preamp pedal. It's a broadband bass and treble boost only preamp that's pretty similar to the type of preamp I'd install into my bass. I'm going to show three musical situations where I'd use this pedal to add broadband bass and treble to enhance the sound of my bass. So first, I'm playing in a dub reggae band. I know, it's hard to believe, but it's true. And I just feel like this passive bass isn't getting that deep subby tone that I need. By rolling up some bass on my preamp pedal, I bring in this broadband bass that not only bumps the deep lows, but it also bumps the low mids, but to a lesser degree. This keeps my instrument sounding musical and rich, but also well balanced from the low E up to the upper register. Now I'm playing in my indie rock band, and I'm trying to get that Interpol Fugazi pick attack sound. And I'm just, this bass really isn't quite cutting it. This is kind of a subdued, mellow sounding instrument. If I boost some broadband treble, it adds this presence and clarity to my tone without getting too harsh or brittle sounding. Finally, you might notice that the DB925 does not have a mid-range control. With broadband boost, as you boost bass, there's this slope that develops, and it goes through the bass frequencies into the low mid frequencies. The same with the treble, through the high mid frequencies. So as you boost bass, you're also boosting those mids, but to a lower degree. If you boost both bass and treble, what you develop is a mid-range scoop which although there's still mid-range content there, it's just to a lesser degree, and this is a fantastic sound for slap bass. So let's hear what the slap tone sounds like without the preamp. And now with the preamp. The DB925 is a great compact solution for adding musical broad EQ to your sound. Want to add that mojo directly to your bass? Check out our OBP1 onboard preamp for broadband boost right at your fingertips.